The Albizzle's judge named Tanya Chutkan signals that she will gag DT in the middle of his campaign. Yeah, guys. Yep, this lady here who has been real hard on a lot of the J6ers, okay, and uh, letting off a lot of liberals uh, for uh, things that the J6ers did less of, uh, she is uh, expected to gag him, uh, likely, so he's not going to be able to talk about the stolen 2020, okay? Uh, but I, from what I heard, is it's just a fan. So I don't think, I'm sorry, not a fan, it's just a fine. So I don't think um, it's going to like, oh, it's going to put him in jail if he talks too much, right? I don't know. I don't know what it's be, but I mean, it'll be like $1,000 per instance. So, I mean, you know, still just going to do his rally and pay a thousand bucks, but it's still stupid, right? Imagine they do a thousand dollars per minute. Then that's going to be messed up. Uh, but I'm telling you guys, uh, this is uh, this is absolutely awful. If they get him, if they get him, we are all next. They will get Bannon. They will get Charlie Kirk. They will make their all the way down, all the way down, just like how they got all the Q people, okay? They will get all of us just like that. They'll get rid of all of our buy me coffees, all of our PayPals, and uh, they'll put us away just for having an opinion. That's what communism is, guys. Yeah. And by the way, if you're if you're liberal, if you if you're gay, all right, or or, or or lesbian, whatever, you probably want to switch over to the Republican Party because the Democrats are no longer liberals. Okay, they're communists. They, nothing they do stands for liberty. Okay, they want to silence you. They want to cancel your, your 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 career if you say something you disagree with. That is all communism. Okay, you don't get to be free. Go ask ask any gay person in Russia or or the Middle East. Okay. If they're still alive, of course, you know. Anyways, Judge Chutkan is going to gag DT in the middle of his presidential campaign. DT's lawyer appeared before her on Friday morning, this morning, for a hearing on a proposed gag order. Judge Chutkan gave DT only one day to respond to a motion for protective order filed by Dirty Jack Smith, rather than give him the standard 14 days. Uh, the judge says there are no, there are limits regardless of what is going on. It going on in i hate to say it his day job this is a criminal case the need for this criminal case to proceed in normal order and protect witnesses and integrity of the process means there are going to be limits in the defendant's speech boy you should have did m law dt i don't know why you didn't do martial law you know if you don't win next year you might as well change your entire family name to kennedy because they're going to treat you exactly the same way they did that family uh, Judge Shushkan said she doesn't care that gagging DT will impact his presidential campaign. So now she may very well go down for uh, selection meddling. If you can win DT. If you can harvest like you say you can. The judge sides with DT on what discovery info must be restricted. Saying DT will only be prohibited from speaking about info deemed sensitive to the case. Uh, so pretty much anything about 2020. Huh? And of course, they're going to twist his words like they always do and say, oh, you said this and this rally over here that was pertinent to this case. We're going to arrest you now. You can't have any more rallies. All right. Yeah. Chutkan rejected another DT proposal that will let his release info if it otherwise becomes public. S said DT can still not share any sensitive discovery on those matters. Special Counsel Jack Sai. And I say Jack Sai because that means that means eat Chinese. Uh, Jack Sai also requested on a January 2nd trial date. Uh, well, just before just before uh, Super Tuesday. So if you don't know Super Tuesday is, it is the Tuesday that has the most uh, presidential primaries in one day. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be a very critical turning point of uh, everyone's campaign. Uh, that's going to be literally the day after that is usually when people like will like resign or step, you know, they'll, they'll end their campaign. They'll throw the support behind someone else. Oh, and by the way, uh, Meatball signed this um, this uh, promise promise act for the GOP where um, and actually a lot of the others did where uh, if who if someone else wins the GOP nomination other than you, you have to support them. DT did not. I think that's a great idea. I don't think he should. The G the GOP doesn't support him. Okay, the RNC doesn't support him. So why would he make that promise for? Okay, they should be privileged to have him in his party. Okay, because I can tell you this: if DT was a Democrat tomorrow, we'd all be on his side. We'd all be Democrats by then. Okay, because he's there. He's all there. Him, him, and RFK Jr. They got the right idea. Okay, the whole party thing is like, no, we want the person. We're going out. We're going for the people now. Okay. 
Last Tuesday, DC was hit with four counts, but, but, but we already know about all that. Government proposes that the trial begin on January 2nd and estimates that its ca in its case, that its case in chief will take no longer than four to six weeks. Jack Sai wants DT convicted by Super Tuesday in March. The, the Iowa Republican caucus will be held on January 15th. Mark Levin called on DT's attorneys to file an interlocutory appeal. Again, with these big words, damn lawyers. Anyways, yeah, this happened this morning, guys. I know I set up an event. You guys might have seen that. Thank you, Rod. Thank you for that. <laughs>